Okay, if we are multiplying these two binomials together, a binomial times a binomial, you've been taught in the past to use the FOIL method, which is a good acronym here. You know, FOIL, right? Standing for first, outer, inner, last. So, first is 8 times 8, which is 64. Outer, 8 times a negative root 10, is a negative 8 root 10. Inner, root 10 times 8 is a positive 8 root 10. And notice how I wrote those right like on top of each other because they're like terms so it's easier to make them cancel later. And the last two together, watch this, a positive times a negative is a negative, okay? And the square root of 10 times the square root of 10 becomes the square root of 100. You put them under one radical. Okay, what happens here, these two middle terms disappear. This becomes 64 minus the square root of 100 is 10, and 64 minus 10 is 54. All right. Same idea down here. We have radical 2x plus 3, radical 2x minus 3. Now, one of the patterns I want you to notice is, even though I'm going to call this the FOIL method, because these two are almost alike, one's a plus and one's a minus, you're going to lose the middle terms. So this is really the difference of squares idea, but we could still do FOIL until you get the pattern better the front. The square root of 2x times the square root of 2x is the square root of 4x squared. The outer. Square root of 2x times a negative 3 is a negative 3 root 2x. The inner. 3 root 2x is a positive 3 root 2x. And again, I'm aligning them because they're going to combine. And then my last 3 times negative 3 is a negative 9. Okay, when I pull all this together, these two disappear. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. And then we pick up our minus 9. And we're done. Okay? Let's look at the last example here. We've got this 3 root x plus root y. 3 root x minus root y. Now, let's use our pattern here. We really don't need to do the whole FOIL method because we know the outer and the inner are going to cancel, so let's ignore those. Let's just do the front and let's just do the last. Whenever these two look alike, where one's a plus and one's a minus, you can do that. Those are called conjugates of each other and you know you're going to lose the middle terms. It's like the difference of squares formula. So all we really need to do here is the F and the L. We don't need to do the whole FOIL. 3 root X times 3 root X becomes 9 root X squared, right? The 3 times 3 is 9. Root X times root X is root X squared. We don't need to do the outer. We don't need to do the inner. And we now, now need to do the last. Positive times negative is a negative root y times root y is the square root of y squared. In the front I have 9 square root of x squared is x minus and in the back the square root of y squared is y and we have 9x minus y and we're done. This concludes section 7.3